Okay, for better and for I do not know how long this will go to, but you obviously see I'm not wearing my uh, uh, polo like I was in the last video because it's the same night. I just went in uh, the living room, watched some college basketball. Kentucky women's Kentucky basketball team beat South Carolina. Just to let y'all know. That's the game I'm rewatching again. Just took my uh, polo off same night, just a couple minutes after. Deleted one of my videos that, um, well, I deleted the video off my phone that was about the mental health thing. Uh, my, like the state of our mental health, the introduction to that show that I was going to start. Still going to start, but um, I had to delete that video off to take some screenshots so I can use for three future song covers. And so I could clear up more space to make this video. So, again, I went over um, Still Going Astray by Pastor Nate and went over Masks of Joy. Once again, with Masks of Joy, just let everybody continuously know. Masks of Joy has everything to do with just don't think that everything's all cool and, and grandiose around your neighborhood when there is people dying left and right in other people's neighborhoods that vastly need your help. Don't have a mask of joy where you're completely blindsided, or not blindsided, but you're completely blind to the real horrors and very much real ills of this world, of this culture and society. Don't live a life where as long as it's cool in my corner, I don't care about what anyone else does in their corner, and I'm just, you know, yeah, you know, and, 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 and you're just like, you get the point, you know, where you're completely just unaware. So, I mean, because it really has everything to do with live a life aware. Live life aware, spiritually sound, with the mor morality and, and such, and know who you are and what you stand for. So, so that's what Massive Joy has to deal with. You know, just don't live blind, and especially if willingly, don't live willingly blind. That makes it even worse. So, watch out by rapper NJ to the City, which is me. So, watch out. It's just a republishing, ladies and gentlemen, with a different cover of the song that I had already dropped with um, by with a watch out. I had already dropped this song years ago. I just decided to redrop it with an actual cover. The last cover was a garage band cover, so I decided to redrop it with a new cover and hope to God it got some views, more more views than it did the first time. It's only gotten two thus, two thus far. I don't even know if it'll ever get many more views. I think I might have to just, again, redo Put in two. I may have to put another cover on it and repost it, get more views. I don't know. Um, but yeah, watch out. It's nothing new. It's just a refurbishing of a song that I already had out. What it did, but this time is with a real actual cover. That is the and the cover of that song particularly is my um, particularly with that cover. It's me and my uh, niece number three shirt uh, jersey that my. Um, Coach, Coach Krause gave me on the last day of school as a graduation present, so, yeah. Um, and I'm very happy, um, blessed, and fortunate for that jersey, and I mean it when I said it, that I felt like Josh Rosen with that. Josh Rosen is my guy. Hopefully he um, blossoms for the Cardinals, or hopefully gets traded to the Jaguars and gets been blossomed with the Jaguars. We'll see. I don't know. But, yeah, watch out by me. Eventually you will see some... Sport themed music videos with um, me, you know, throwing the ball around with some friends, doing some real quarterback action. Hope that comes very, very soon in my future. Next up is uh, the future of the youth, hashtag Valley Ridge forever. So, um, Shy Guy was one of my friends that um, um, actually posted under um, a comment under my Tears of Joy for Valley Ridge. Um, song because her hashtag was valley ridge just hashtag valley ridge i was going to take it a tad bit further to go hashtag valley ridge forever but i might take valley ridge forever off and just put hashtag valley ridge to go off what she had hashtagged because it is hashtag valley ridge and i really do want um everybody at valley ridge to again know about songs like this and support each other love each other care about each other look out for each other and i want to help keep giving valley ridge just like with niece as much love, support, and promotion as I possibly can. Come to Valley Ridge. That's my dog, by the way. We just you know, did that. Come to Valley Ridge. Build your, I get whatever you know, grade level you start at. You know, build your elementary, middle school legacy with us. Come, come to Nice. Build your four-year legacy with us. Here, at Valley Ridge, your future awaits. 
um, what your future is waiting, but I think your future waits makes more sense. You know, the original one, the original original one was Welcome to Valley Ridge, your future is waiting. But, um, yeah, the original one was Welcome to Valley Ridge, your future is waiting, but I think Welcome to Valley Ridge, your future waits makes more sense. Or, you know, sounds a tad bit like a snap. So, Welcome to Valley Ridge, your future awaits. Welcome to Nice. It's just better here. Sorry for the spit, it just flew in my mouth. It's just better here. I'm an ambassador of both schools. I love to support and promote both schools. Love to support and encourage and promote all the children. That's what I'm doing with these, with these songs. God first on that with the most appropriate professional approval and such. <laughs> So yeah, uh, the future of the youth. Uh, I'm. I don't take back making that song. I don't take back making the next one. This is our world. Because once again, all my valuable kids. I want to promote again a sense of peace, love, harmony, mystique, etc., etc. Through um, Valley Ridge, like K through eight. This is your school home for the next how many years, um, and even further on. If you can always come back, support and promote the next generation, support and cheer on the next generation. Um, this is your school to, again, explore the arts, excel, excuse me, excel in your regular academics, and just learn, build, and grow a legacy. Learn, build, and grow with your friends, faculty, and staff. Enjoy your time and live, live the live life of Christ, etc. Uh, the future of the youth. Now, that in particular, like I say, same thing. Uh, I'm very proud of both songs. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's what This Is Our World, what you know, it is about. It's like the tomorrow, like, it's like, <laughs> like the Tomorrowland scheme that I talk about in a lot of Valley Ridge songs. It's like, it's like that Tomorrowland scheme I talk about in a lot of Valley Ridge songs, honestly. Uh, even though I got the Tomorrowland thing from Disney. But yeah, the future of the youth, I want, uh, I think, uh, yeah. The future of the youth, I, I, the, the Valley Ridge is the future of the youth for me. And I really want all the kids again. Same thing like I just said. Learn, build, and grow. Prosper. You get it. So, um, but yeah, shout out to my friend that posted under the other video um, for Tears of Joy. She said, just hashtag Valley Ridge. Yes, hashtag Valley Ridge. Keep doing up more promotion for the school. God bless the school. We love the school. It's our school home, school family forever. It's all beautiful. Now, Paranoid, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Paranoid, thank you for the three people that have viewed it and the one like. Paranoid is literally just a song that I think I've been trying to master again for about a couple of years now. Uh, it, again, pretty much states, I am so sorry for being paranoid of being betrayed. But I've been betrayed many other times before. That's why I'm so paranoid about being betrayed, again, by almost anybody. So, paranoid, once again, is like, um, also, how do I put it? Um, if you ever listen to my song that I released last summer in 2018, titled, Are You My Friend? It has that similar scheme fit to it. Are you my friend, or are you just here to betray me? Because I've been through it before, where, like I said before, I was around people, spent quality time with people who I could assume were my real friends and then left them right like flies i got attention sent to the dean's office or whatever else it was over misunderstandings and i'm like how is this happening when i just talked to that person the other day oh, i was all cool and etc so it's like forgive me for being paranoid if i don't trust you which is actually just starting a new album with that song forgive me if i'm paranoid um about letting you into my life as a part of my part of my family, forgive me if I don't trust you for it. It's just you know I've been betrayed too many times before, so it's like hey, I got a good reason to be par paranoid, but forgive me for it. I've been betrayed too many times, you know. And it's me, kind of. It's me. I wouldn't say it. I, I wouldn't say it towards the end. It's me killing my paranoia, but it is me trying to remind myself that. And I got the killing paranoia part from NF's song titled "Outro" on his. Perception album where he said, listen to intro three train to kill my fear. You know, paranoid is not, the ending of paranoid is not me killing my paranoia. Even though you would think that it is the way I ended it off. It's not me killing my paranoia, but it is me being able to cope with my paranoia at times. 
and letting me know that for the most part, I'm just stressing over nothing. I need to focus on God and his plan for, for me, which, you know, has gotten me this far. Now, you would think that with that saying, it's me towards the end killing my paranoia. But it's not. It really isn't. Because I think that for the most part, I'm until I stop getting betrayed altogether, I think I'm never going to. I think my paranoia is going to keep it. It's, it's going to still exist in the back of my mind. I don't know. Um, but, I mean, all glory be to God for better and for worse. Things happen for a reason. And whenever it is time for my paranoia to fully leave me, hopefully it does with a sober, with a sober mind and clean thought. So that's what it is. But yeah, I can understand how towards the end you would think, yeah, Nate's killing his paranoia like NF said and um, you know, you know, intro late you know, listen to intro three trying to kill my fear. I get it. But no, uh it's not the end of paranoia is not me killing my paranoia. It is just me bringing more awareness to my paranoia and being like, yeah, sometimes I stress over nothing and I do and I guess, you know, I guess you could say before what happened to me when I released that song before what happened to me when I released it, if that hadn't happened to me, the beginning the or the ending of the song would have been me killing my paranoia. I'm going to literally tell you that. If, what, if, if the mess up with that song that I made for one of the students had not screwed me over, I'm telling you this. It probably would have killed my paranoia. It literally would have. I, I, to, to be more real and honest with you, particularly all my valid kids, if if what had happened to me with that student's song had not happened to me, it probably would have killed my paranoia. The ending of paranoia, I mean paranoid, would have killed my paranoia probably. And if not killed it, it would have kept it on a really, really, really down low. But because of that happening, it did not kill my paranoia. It just, again, made it more and more something in the back of my mind that I'm still tuggling with of whether it's, you know, gonna go either way. Because God has brought me, for better and for worse, he's brought me a long way. A long way. I've been betrayed before, and I was that close to giving up on humanity multiple times. I was that close to giving up on my friends multiple times. I was that close to being like, hey, let me just not care about anybody and just leave everybody to fend for themselves. You can literally see that in multiple other videos that I posted about testimonies. I'm I've been that close to just letting people fend for themselves and not care about anybody else but myself. But I'm telling you, God has blessed me with way too much love, too many blessings. That life is never, was never, is never for me, was never meant for me, and is not going to bring me any happiness, no peace, no joy at the end of the day. It's going to make me feel like I'm dead inside, and that life is going to make me feel like the devil got me. And why? Because I'm letting the devil, you know, in or take control of like, it's like, it's like saying, it's like saying you let that one percent kill you. You let that one percent. You got a hundred, but you let that one percent kill you. Like or like ninety nine percent. You let you got ninety nine percent fan base full of love, peace, respect, admiration. But you let that one percent kill you, make you just hate people or not want to be who you are anymore. And that's why I take it as you're letting the devil take over, or you're letting the, the devil ruin your life like that. You know. That 1%, why are you letting that 1% kill kill all of what God's done for you with that 99%? Why? And that's why I've never bought into that, okay, let me just, you know, vanish or let me just not care about anybody else because the 99%, well, you know, rules, rules my life, not that 1%. If I let that 1% rule my life, I'm letting, I'm letting the, the, the devil win because I'm telling you, he wants me to just not be myself not be godly, not be courageous, not be outgoing, not be a big brother. He wants me to just go away and let everybody fend for themselves and pretend that everybody, you know, is going to heal without me. Except, except, et cetera. You get the point. I hope you get the point. But, um, yeah. But if what if if what had happened to me with that student song hadn't happened to me, I'm willing to bet you that the end of paranoia would have killed my paranoia. It would have killed it because I think to myself often, I think I just stress over nothing. The kids got my back. Their parents got my back, et cetera, et cetera. I just stress over nothing with things. At times I do. But I think this is probably meant to be just a, for now, an ongoing battle within my psyche of getting betrayed, stressing over nothing, and and letting God guide me, and et cetera. But for better or worse, God will guide me. And hopefully, whenever that paranoia is meant to leave me, it's meant to leave me because 
I love God, I love Jesus, and I love spreading his love, mercy, grace, and salvation. So once again,